Hello everyone, Space Oyster here, and welcome back to Golden Sun, The Lost Age. In the last part, we tried to head, head up north to Prox, and then the Mars Lighthouse, but that didn't really pan out. So now we're here at Magma Rock, in order to uh, get more synergy that we'll need to continue. Oh, I remember what other synergy I need now. We're gonna need bursts. Okay. Lift and burst. That's what I got. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, I should probably just do a burst and move. Alright, and yeah, the party I went with today is Piers, Sheba, Garrett, and Mia, because I was curious about the battle theme that would play if I have all of them. Man, we're gonna be using a lot of the burst synergy here. And it turns out it's Felix's battle theme. So, yeah. At least I think that was Felix's battle theme. Not the best party, but we'll make them work. So yeah, let's put Burst on L, and uh, Isaac will use Move on R. That is the evil plan. <laughs> What's over here? Nothing. Nothing is over there. Okay. That seems very dangerous, but we're gonna jump on its head. Very dangerous, but it's worth it. We can do this! Yeah, Magma Rock isn't as bad as Aqua Rock or Gaia Rock or even Air's Rock. It's still pretty bad. It, bad. It's a very big, long, scary dungeon. But it is um, eased up a bit by the fact that we now have eight party members. Uh, so I would highly recommend having someone in your backup party being able to heal, so that way you can just have them keep, uh, keep the main party healthy. Oh, we're gonna need growth. Do I even have anyone who can use growth? Uh, um, that's a no! I hate it when they make me re require me to use weird synergies like that. Okay. Uh, we can make this work really quickly, actually. I forgot. I just need to change Sheba into a medium. And she should have growth. She doesn't have growth. I thought she would get gross. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to do this... this stupid way. Actually, I could've just used Jenna or Felix. Because they're in... they're in a but easier class to change. All right, all right, what's up here? We can't even go up there. What was the point of all this? Ooh, pretty. Crucible fire. Yeah, that's definitely Felix's theme. Okay. The only downside for the White Mage clash, it, class that I have um, Ivan and Sheba in is that I really wish they got access to Cure or Ply. Uh, a good single target heal would be amazing on them, but sadly they just get Wish and Revive, uh, which I guess is technically all they do need. I can use uh, single target healing items like vials and potions if I really need them to. Uh, do a single target heal, but I, I i don't know. I really would prefer it if they could do um, better heals. I just realized the way I attacked, I had the ladies going after one monster and the guys going after another. Okay. We're gonna be smart about it this time. 
I'm going to turn off enough of Jenna's things to turn her into a ruffian. And since she's in the back party, I don't need to worry about her as much. So I will keep her as a ruffian for now, and I'll just change her later if I need to. Them's a red herring. Although, it's not a very useful red herring because they're right next to each other, and. And, yeah, it's just tough to tell the difference. So it's not like they were actively trying to deceive us, it's just one is right and one is wrong, and you don't know until you explore. Brilliant game design. At least the music here is kind of neat. I'm pretty sure I've heard it somewhere before, but I don't know. I used I used to play this game all the time as a kid. Uh, so yeah, this is some. This is a theme I have pretty much heard everywhere, or a lot. I heard it way too much. Anyway, we blow that one up. Oh, I know why we blew it up now. Okay, I was confused for a second at first, but I get it now. I get it now. We got to burst... Eh, I'm gonna keep pressing the wrong button. Anyway, we burst this. That was a little... Didn't react very properly there, but the point is we blew it up. And then we just wait. And wait. And then we push it! Push the block! Push! What's over here? I'm curious. Hmm. I bet only one of these is right, and it's this one! Hey, I called it right! Woo! I don't know exactly why we're climbing on the outside first, but I believe we needed to for some odd reason. Yeah. Ah, I made the right call. Good, 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 good. Boom! No! A phoenix! So, the phoenix-style enemies are extremely dangerous. Like, even more dangerous than most of the bosses in this game. Uh, they can usually act up to three times a turn, they know powerful healing synergies, and they can revive other monsters that may or may not be in the fight with them. Wait, I just realized I should probably have... You know what? Nah, I haven't got to be in the party last time. It's Shiva's turn. It's time for Shiva to shine! Alright, and then I saw a treasure chest down there, so let's go grab it. Money! I do not need money. Like, seriously, I haven't even been trying to grind, and I have way too much money as it is. Sometimes, though, I do wish getting money in this game, or getting money in real life, was as easy as it is in this game. <sighs> but it's not. Then again, who's to say that the way these guys are getting money is easy? They have to go out and fight monsters. And what do I have to do? I have to work. What's up here? Okay, so the other one is the one I have to go through. So let us do that. And that's chest. I could probably get to it some other way. All right, I don't know why we're climbing on the outside, but I bet it will become important later somehow. Just like at the other rocks. That was a very beautiful fire dance. Doo 
Okay then, let's see, aha, yes, it is all becoming clear. And you are dead, sir, dead, very, very dead. Ooh, that's a pretty skybox in the back. I've never noticed that before. But as we have already established, I am not very observant. I'm really not. But you think I would have noticed a pretty mountain range? Oh well. Anyway. Oh, I remember this part. I do not like this part. No, I don't. I do not like it. I do not like it, Sam I am. Woo! Everyone's gaining experience points. Yeah, your back party does gain experience points too, so you don't have to worry about keeping only your strongest party members in the front. But I would or well, weakest party members in the front. But I would highly, highly, highly recommend it anyway. You know, just to keep your levels evened out. Shortcuts. Treasure! Salamander Tail! That is an item that you can use to make other items. should have known that Necromancer was weak. But that's okay, we got this. We got this. Alright. Alrighty. Oh yeah, playing this game has me remembering something kind of funny about uh, that Dead by Daylight game I play a bit too much of. In that, um, uh, I tried to learn how to play that with a, a mouse and keyboard because you know it'd be it's it would be handy to learn how to play it that way because in a pinch I can uh, if my controller breaks I can still play it. But one bad habit I have is that I always forget to take my uh, hand or forget to stop pressing certain buttons, especially if I'm pressing multiple buttons at the same time. And uh, that's a thing that came up uh, while playing this game. Because uh, uh, when I'm off screen, I'm pressing a button that makes the game go faster, and also uh, also holding down B to run faster. And I always forget to take one my hand off one or both of those. Anyway, let's go ahead and let someone else show off a skill. Let's use a bramble card from Piers, so that way we're showing off different synergies. Ooh, that makes me so nettled. So I just realized, if I only go with the people who have the highest synergy, to synergy point totals, then that's probably just going to be Ivan and Sheba casting spells more for the most part. Although that, with that said, um, Felix and Jenna's abilities that they use as a um, that they use as a uh, Ninja and Ronin. Uh, Felix and... Fe Felix is the Ronin. Uh, she Jen is the Ninja. Um, their abilities are basically just going to be uh, the same skills other classes get, but with different names. Like, instead of um, instead of the Gaia series, it's the Rock Slide series. Okay, so we had to climb the mountain to get in. I think. I don't know. It's been so long since the entrance, I don't even remember anymore. Woo! Crucible Fire! 
Yeah. Curse. Not very useful in, ra in random encounters like this, Mr. Monster Dude. Alright, let's just head on in. So now we're in the interior of Magma Rock. And I wish that marked the halfway point, but the interior of this place is very brutal. Very, very brutal. Oh, I believe we start by bursting this thing off. Yeah, that raises the lava. And then you can get the lava down by stepping on that button over there. Uh, we're going to have to make our way to it. We had to raise the lava for now because I do believe there was no way to go forward yet. We'll figure it out soon, don't you worry. So many healers in this party. Ivan, Ivan, I, not Isaac. Ivan, Sheba, Mia, Garrett. Although Garrett can only heal in battle. But still, he's a healer. Because he's a beast tamer. Mmm, ready then. Let's go around this way. Although the biggest downside with this party setup I'm using is, well, obviously it's not very um, diverse. We don't have a lot of good ways to deal damage. And also, a lot of the, a couple of the classes are just really weak. Be like the uh, Isaac's class series with the Necronomicon, that is fine. It works out just fine because it gets a very good single target spell as well as a very good mul uh, very good multi target spells to deal damage with so pretty much anyone can make use of it and plus in its base form it learns um uh do, 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 revive so even if you're not upgrading the class much you can still do a lot with it or it's still useful not so much with the Beast Tamer and Acrobat class lines. They don't learn anything useful. And, they, and their stats are way too low to actually contribute much to the party anyway. Both, both in terms of uh, synergy points and in terms of having um, more abilities. Or, well, more... Not more abilities, but like st higher stats. Like, you'd be better off in a in a dual element or triple element class, or even a single element class for having more powerful spells. Alright, so we got that moved up, so that's basically a shortcut for us in the future, or for us to use in the future, if we needed it. But we wanted to go down another floor, and there's another statue we can burst there, but we're going to actually wait a bit before doing that. Alright, let's let Piers attack that one. Let's let Shiva attack there. And let's try one of these spells. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the Chimera. Oh wow, that damage is pathetic! But to be fair, I think what's holding uh, uh, Piers and Garrett back isn't their um, class being weak, it's the fact that I can't get them into stronger versions of their class. Hmm. Okay, what's down here? Aha, uh -huh, I'm gonna need the lava level up before I do that. Alright. Well, I pretty much showed off their skills. I should let Sheba do her thing.
Necrolite! I didn't read that right. It rhymes because it's true. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna have to go down and explore first. Okay. Keep everyone healthy! Everyone needs health! Also, you just generally want to keep everyone healthy. It's a good idea. Okay. Mm hmm. So, here's attack there. Sheba can do her thing. Garrett there, and me in the middle. By my estimate, there should be eight more Ginny in the or Jin in the game. If I'm uh, calculating the numbers right, I do believe everyone should be able to end the game with nine each. And right now, I think we've all they've all got eight, eight Ginny, uh, Jin each. Eh. Yeah, the plural is Jin. The singular is Ginny. It always throws me off, because normally in English, the plural has more letters in it than the singular. Usually, but not always. Not in this case. Ow. Garrett is just super slow as a beast tamer. I forgot how horrible that class was. Well, I guess it shouldn't surprise me, though. Uh, I remember this one time as a, um... Oh, look, a Mars Ginny. Uh, I do remember during my practice playthrough, I actually tried Piers out as a beast tamer in the fight against the Gatio and Karst, and uh, Piers and Felix were both killed before Jenna came. Alright, so let's backstab this guy. I'll just attack with Shiba. Um, whiplash, because why not? Ow. Hey, that's kind of neat, actually. Oh, Vana! And we killed it! Yay! Well, not killed it, but you know what I mean. All right, the Mars Ginny Fury has joined Piers. But we're actually going to give him to. Actually. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna give it to she. Uh, give one of these. Uh, yeah, one of these Ju uh, Venus Jin to Sheba to turn her into her final class, the Pure Mage, and that that makes it easier for me to keep uh, peers. Even there, we go. There we go. I knew I'd figure it out some sometime eventually. Maybe somehow. Ha 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 ha! All right. All right. What's in this room? We already know what's in that room. Okay. So I believe we are now ready to raise the lava level in this lethal, lo lethal lava land. I think just like every other enemy in that class line, the Vital Moon ability can reduce your uh, hit points to one. Alright, one other thing I forgot to mention, if you did not transfer data, uh, yeah, about the not transferring data, uh, Isaac's party will all be at level 25 instead of transferring whatever level they were when you beat the game. Although 25 is pretty, pretty much what you would expect. 
Uh, it's about the level you'd be at for that. Even though the level cap in the first game is the same as the level cap in this one. 99! Yeah. It takes forever to get that high. Let's go with the Hail Prism, actually. No, 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 no. Let's... Shine Plasma. Shine Plasma's a bit stronger, I do believe. And again, I think she can actually do more with the Hail Prism. Let's go with Hail Prism! Why am I talking myself out of it? I don't know. It was probably a bad idea for me. See? Annoying. Annoying as all get out. But at the same time, if you're willing to, um, if you're patient, you can actually use a, uh, enemy encounter that has at least two of those phoenixes. Just kill one, wait for it to revive the other, and then uh, rinse repeat. Just kill one, then the other, until you uh, think you've accumulated enough EXPs. And then you do it. Okay, so be careful, don't step on that button uh, this time. Since we've removed everything we can on the lower floor, we do not need the lava level lower. Oh, that's a fun word to say. Or a fun, fun phrase to say. Lava, lava level lowered! Yeah, and I figured I'd just uh, all, go out all out against one of them, because why not? Why not? Alrighty. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, this one is going to keep moving around in a circle, so we'll just wait for it to come back, hop on, and get that treasure! I hope it's good treasure. I don't know. Treasure in this game can be a mixed bag. Most sometimes it's a healing item, although Miss Potion is a very useful healing item. Other times it's um, garbage, and then and then it can also just be something extremely useful, like a new weapon or armor. New weapons and armor are always good. Yeah, I think it would be possible for just two characters, uh, if I got the two with higher strength, um, which I do believe are Piers and Garrett. I believe if both of both of them, or one of them and then one of the mage, one of the lady mages, dealt a, um, uh, were both able to get a critical hit on that enemy, then it would be able to kill them with just two people instead of having to use three. But that is a luck-based situation, and I do not want to rely on luck. Relying on luck is just always such a poor thing. I really wouldn't rather. Would really rather not. Probably should have prioritized the Raging Rock, actually. Those things can boom. Also, I don't get the point of that boomy statue over there, because we don't need it. Very strange. But whatever. We got both of the rocks taken care of. I do believe it means we need to lower the lava again, so we're gonna have to ride on this moving platform. Head in this room. And I do believe we have to go around. I learned my lesson! <laughs> Although, the wise griffin is still faster than Garrett, but to be fair, Garrett is very slow. Just super slow. Alright, and I think 
we go down here. Yes, yes we do. Alright, Piers will attack there. There we go. Oh yeah, Shine Plasma did do more damage. Yeah, that is the downside to the Phoenixes, though. They can run from battle. So, mm, very tough to do. But they, but the Phoenix class line always rewards tons of experience, so they're worth it. They are worth it. Or enemy line, I should say. Anyway, down to a new floor. I wonder why it's safe to walk on this floor. Wasn't it filled with lava? It was probably filled with lava. Mm -hmm. Another phoenix! But fortunately, the uh, sheep is able to deal more damage with a physical attack, oddly enough. You wouldn't expect a squishy mage to be able to hit that hard. Okay, so this room has a button. And treasure in the middle! Yay! Little death. Little death is about to be a little bit dead. Alright, so we're gonna have to burst in a tits this. I've been playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, one of the older games, actually. But with the elemental heroes and all that. Burst in a tricks, but I but uh, I remember when I was in high school, everyone just called her burst in a tits. I don't know. High school students, not very creative. Alright, we're just gonna have to wait here. Lots of waiting! What is this, Ocarina of Time? Okay, that's a, that's a weird joke to a review I don't remember the name of. But yeah, someone... Uh, I forget who. It wasn't one of the really big game critics, but it was someone who I did find insightful. He basically pointed out that in uh, Ocarina of Time, their idea of a puzzle is to just make you wait. And that's also how they make the get, uh, combat tougher, too. The toughest enemies always have you waiting for an opportunity to strike, like the Stalfos. Obscure references for the win! Ooh, everyone's getting low on HPs. But we did it! Yay! And Ivan's running low on synergy points. Oh, good god, are we gonna need that? We're probably gonna need that. I don't wanna have to do that. Alright, so this area of Magma Rock, I do believe, if my memory isn't lying to me, if you did not transfer your djinn, or you did not collect all the djinn from the last game, there will be a Mars djinn from Mars Ginny from the last game that you can acquire here. There will only be one, though, so at most, you from the last game, you can miss one djinn of each element before you need to, um, before you need to, uh, the, the, well, before you mess out on stuff. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, the point is, you can miss exactly one djinn each of each element from the last game and still get 100% in this game. Oh no, we were surprised and startled! Wow, Mia does not have a lot of HP. I just noticed that. Why is that? It's probably just because she's a squishy mage. Sheba probably gets a lot because she's the only one with nine Jin. Alright, probably gotta do something in this room to make it possible to ex fully explore. Oh, wow. Sheba's just really strong, apparently. Her healing synergies aren't going to be as good, though, because as, well, as we should already know at this point, 
Uh, the strength of your magic is dependent on your elemental affinities, and um, elemental affinity, and the only thing that boosts that is either summoning or your Jin setup. And since Sheba doesn't have, um, well, no, she, yeah, well, since Sheba doesn't have as many Mercury Jin as she would if she was in a uh, dual element class, uh, her healing spells aren't going to be as good. Her and her um, Venus affinity is completely irrelevant because the only Venus spell she knows is Revive. But it's very, still very handy, all the same, to have a healer who can both revive and multi heal. Alright, then what's up here? Nothing! If I'd probably waited to lower the, wa the lava level, I probably could have gotten that treasure chest. But I wasn't sure I'd be able to reach all the way over here, um, over here with with the um, platforms. Okay, Ivan is running dangerously low on synergy points. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Okay, moving on. There's another way over there. Okay. And I guess I could have split this into two parts, but I really didn't want to. Push! Push! Put your back into it, Felix! Eh. Don't make me use the move sign energy. I'll do it. I will. See? Ha! Alright, and let's grab the treasure chest that's in this room. Yeah, I'll point out the locations for other djinn uh, that will show up from the last game if you didn't get them all. Uh, so that way, if you aren't transferring data or you missed a few in your own playthrough, you can you can know where to pick up a few ex uh, a few extra gin. Now we need to find a way back up. Which I think we already do now. Okay. Here we go. Sorry about that. I don't know why I'm so restless. Uh, let's just do a regular wish. I guess I should have done wish well. Whatever, whatever. Point is, we're go I'm not going to be able to use Ivan to heal anymore, so we'll just have to use someone else. And by someone else, I probably mean Sheba or Mia. Probably Sheba. Or I just swap out some of my slower party members for quicker ones, and then we can actually get shit done. Yeah, although that that situation with Whirlwind, well, that always reminds me of Dark Dawn, the the big improvement Dark Dawn made over uh, the first two games was that uh, I think I've already mentioned it, but um, utility synergies like Growth and Whirlwind, your characters will always have a, always have access to those synergies no matter what you do. Very very handy. Okay, Dark Dawn didn't. Um, I'd still say Dark Dawn's the weakest of the three Golden Sun games, but it's definitely, um, definitely in the top three. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. What I meant to say was that it still made a lot of good improvements in the series overall. Uh, gameplay-wise, anyway. They just needed to write the dialogue a bit better. Alright. Now that we have the lava level up again, we can jump on this one, and jump on this one, and then jump down! Oh look, two phoenixes! 
Yeah, and, um, if, like, if you just KO one Phoenix and let the other one resurrect it, you get experience every time you KO an enemy, not just the first time. Very, very handy. But, uh, if you're, if you don't have your characters in, um, more advanced classes, those, those Phoenixes can be quite tricky. I think they outspeed... Uh, the rest of the party, uh, in, if they the party isn't using their gin, uh, if they have their gin on standby instead of set. Yeah, sorry, I forget words so easily. English is a very tough language. Woo! Another salamander tail! We'll be able to craft so many things! Speaking of, I forgot to mention that the, um, Ori, Hal Ori Calcum that we got from that, um, from that event right before we got on the boat. Uh, that is also a crafting item, and it's uh, used to make some of the strongest weapons and armor in the game. Very handy stuff. Although most people only want one of the weapons from it, which is Excalibur! 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 Yeah, I like, I, I, I like Soul Eater too much. Uh, I don't know, I'm basically just a weeaboo. Giant weeb! But to be fair, there are just some... There are some pretty good Japanese stuff out there. Well, Japanese shows and other things. And it's just so interesting to be able to experience other cultures. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh crap, I forgot to lower the shortcut, so this is going to take a while. Hmm. Wait, no it's not, no it's not, never mind. I'm an idiot. I think Mia was also just under level, or maybe Garrett just has m has so much HP because that's one of his highest stats. Who knows? Point is, we step on the button, get the lava out of there, and then we're going to start walking on the ground that was recently covered in lava because that's safe. But yeah, I really should have remembered to put that down. But that is A-OK, -okay because we don't really need it to be down. I think it might have led us to an item, but we'll be fine without it. We'll be fine. All of the best items in the game are tough to miss, I think. I don't remember exactly. Oof. Oh no, it's a Mimic! All right, let's try Saber Dance. Uh, just attack. Um, Garrett learned Blue Dragon. I'm sure that's helpful. I heard it was a very interesting game, too. I think the uh, Akira Toriyama was the main art director for it. Oh, that was pretty. I think we're gonna have to stick with Saber Dance, because even though Backstab is stronger, uh, Backstab is the sa uh, well, not the same element, but it does res uh, the Mimic does resist it. Oh wait, I should have used Whiplash. Whatever, whatever, we're good. It's dead anyway. And we got an Apple. I'm gonna give that Apple to Felix, because why not? Oh. We're back at the entrance. Okay. So if we needed to leave, we would have a quick way back in. Very handy. Oh. Well, that looked dangerous. And they drew attention to that rock. I bet it's important somehow. Oh, 
Alrighty, alrighty. Oh no, we won't be able to go back. How troublesome. Felix checked the tablet. There's something etched on it. Wielder of flame strength, lay your hands upon this stone. If thou art worthy, I will grant thee the power to blaze with fire. Flame strength? Hey, that must mean it's finally my turn. Or Garrett's. Jenna received a fire synergy. Blaze. Jenna learned Blaze. So we'll get to show that off in a bit, but what Blaze does is it's basically like, um, well, I'll get to show you here. I forget the right word for it, but it's basically like using a can of hairspray on a fire. That's right, Jenna got the power to use her hairspray on fire. <laughs> uh, I actually remember doing that once. There were a bunch of uh, bugs on my uh, uh, front steps one morning, and I decided, hey, fire, flamethrower, why not? It didn't really work out too, too well, though. It would have been better to just use some sort of uh, bug killer. Probably, anyway. I don't know. Woo! Level ups! Level ups everywhere! Wait, no, yeah, we gotta go back this way. With our new Blaze Synergy, we can actually uh, open up a new pathway. Uh, because the fire that we need to use was conveniently placed right where we can use it. Very convenient. Almost like this game was... Almost like it was a game designed for our benefit rather than a pure coincidence. Heal Toko Mask? That is a rare drop from those enemies, I think. I have never gotten this item before. Huh, Piers has one too. And it's a thing that I can equip. Okay then, I have never gotten that before, and I got two. Once without noticing it. I am so very observant. There's something burning like an ember within the stone. Do you want to retrieve it? Yes, I do. A magma ball! And we gave it to Shiba. Alright, and that will do it for mag magma rock. So let's go ahead and use retreat. And... Yeah, we're back here. So I am going to go ahead and call that an episode here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.